You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Thank you, Jeff B., for that intro song. Today is July 26, 2019, and this episode is brought to you by Travis B., Audie Love, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Miguel F., and B.I. Eber for Life. Those are a few of the many supporters over at patreon.com slash phone losers. There's a few new supporters since the last show, such as Exploring the Obscure and the Real Crazy Kraz. I've never heard of that person before. He's brand new. And then there's Sub 2 Prank Files Podcast. I think that name is a trick. He's just trying to get us to subscribe to the Prank Files Podcast. So I guess subscribe to that at your own risk. I have some exciting news. The House approves new rules to stop robocallers. The Energy and Commerce Committee approved the Stopping Bad Robocalls Act unanimously last week and sent it to the floor. And if it becomes law, it's going to make it easier for the governments to impose tougher penalties on illegal robocallers, which is good for people like me because nobody wants to answer their phone anymore because it's just nonstop robocalls and scams and everything else. I'm sure the sketchy calls are still going to keep coming in from other countries. But it says it's going to demand that carriers deploy call authentication technology, which is going to tell people when calls are fake. And who knows if that's going to work, but maybe it'll fix things a little bit. And I'm positive I can get around this call authentication stuff one way or the other, even if I have to buy a phone number in a bunch of states so that my phone number is real. I'm happy about this. I hope they get everything going quickly. I'll put a link to the story in the show notes if you want to read about it. That's all the news I have for today. Let's call up some apartment complexes. Good afternoon. Tara's Todd here. Hey, Todd. Uh, I'm a tenant, and I have a small problem. I just wanted to ask a question. Okay, who am I speaking to? My name's Caleb. Caleb. Yep. And uh, I was out of town for a few days, and um, I had some, my old frat brothers were... Uh, house sitting for me and they painted confederate flags on all of the walls is it okay o- is it okay to just leave those caleb what unit are you on 204 oh you just don't sound like yourself oh yeah it's the this phone it's a t-mobile oh well you're going to get charged when you leave because there's no way I'm going to be able to paint over that with just one code. They're going to end up probably having to be primed to cover up darker stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's like a deep dark red and black. and um, But, I mean, they covered every single wall, like four walls in the living room, four walls in the bedrooms mm-hmm. and the bathroom, you know, oh. every, every surface, the ceiling, too. It's all nonstop Confederate flags everywhere. Well, the whole thing's going to have to be painted back to the way it was. Okay, but I can keep it while I live here, right? Because I like it. Yeah, you can, but before you know, before you leave, it's going to have to be painted back. Okay, and it's not going to be weird for the neighbors. I mean, you're like, not. You're not going to. That's not going to be left for me to take care of. Um, you are going to take care of it before you leave, because if I have to take care of it, it's there's going to be great expense at that. Yeah, we'll see. And we need to work that. We need to work that out ahead of time. Okay. They use like if that's the case. They use like a you know a dye type material, and they turn the carpets into Confederate flags. And the kitchen tiles, the floors. 
Yeah, when I that was not approved. I know. I, it's, it's not approved. It wasn't me. It was my so, old frat brothers. No, how did you? How did they get into your unit? Oh, I let them in. Like they were house sitting. They were there watching. There you my, go. There's your. You are responsible for your guests and all of your guests' yeah, actions settle down. and activities. Like they, they were just watching my yeah. dogs. So, and my fish. Watch. Watching your dogs. Yep. So I can leave. Like it's not going to freak the neighbors out. Like when I have my windows open and they see nothing but Confederate Confederate flags everywhere. I'm really confused on this whole thing. I I know it's not my fault. It's their fault. You're gonna have to well, talk to them if from you want. my from my stand from my standpoint. It it is all your responsibility. So yeah. it's fault, a fault, a fault. It's your responsibility. Period. Maybe when I move out, from, I can just give you their phone number, and you can make them fix it. No, you, you're the tenant. Our arrangement is against Terrace and yourself. Yeah, but you okay. know, it's not like I painted my own walls and ceilings and floors carpets yes you did you let somebody in to do that you let somebody in and they did it so you are a hundred percent responsible for that i didn't tell them to do it though they painted the countertops it doesn't matter whether you told them to do it or not that's the case that you need to take up yourself between them and yourself okay they did the countertops too and the fridge and the stove um I'm going to I'm going to need to see this because it sounds like we've got a serious issue going here. Well, no, I don't have a problem that, with it. It it looks cool. I, yeah, they, but I do. They did a good job. But I do because it doesn't matter. I'm never going to be able to lease a unit like that. And I'm concerned that it's not going to get back to the way that it's supposed to and you don't have enough deposit for me to get it back that way. Yeah, well no, I'll I'll, t- I'll take care of it. I'll give you their phone number when I move out. No, 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 no. That's not taking care of it. Taking care of it is that you hired a painter and you paid for the paint and you had everything returned back to the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. We'll that's s- taking care of it. We'll see. That's what your lease says. That's what you're responsible for legally. They even did the doors and the walls inside the closets. It's be- it's because like a few years ago, I, I house-sitted for them and I, I did the aluminum foil thing where I covered everything in foil. They're just getting me back is all. Well, that doesn't, that's, that's between you and them. That's not between me and them. That is between you and them. Yeah, What's between but, me and you is that I get a unit returned exactly the way you took it out, minus very minor wear and tear. It's kind of like a theme okay. department, really. You could probably rent this out easy to, like, the right person. No, 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 like no, 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 no. I am no, no, no. Don't, no. That is not acceptable. Don't even think that. I want that I'm unit saying. is going to be back the way that it was when you moved in. Yeah, I don't know. That if is this, what you were responsible for, this, and that is what you need to do. This fabric dye, though, like the whole carpet's just a big Confederate flag. Then you need to replace all the carpet. Can I do hardwood? Nope. Man, there's just no making you happy. The unit needs to be put back. The unit needs to be put back the way that it was leased to you. I do not want a different unit, different than all the other units on the property. We do not allow that. We do not allow anybody to repaint the unit to something different or to do any modifications inside unless they agree that they're putting it back to the way it was when they move out. They did really thick paint, too. So this will probably last longer than your white paint. This is, we don't have our units painted white. Well, you know what I mean. Just whatever, you know, beige, boring color that you have. They even did the, the you know, the outlet, the the plugs, the fixtures, the receptacles. Yeah, all that needs to be put back. That's why I'm going. You may want to yeah, start the, trying to get this back to normal now. Yeah, the fixtures are little bitty Confederate needs, flags. Yeah, so that's all between you and them. Yep. We need to have that back to the way it's supposed to be. I am not approving any of this at this point in time, and and I am requiring that you do start to get that unit put back to exactly the way it was when you moved well, in there because these changes were not authorized ahead of time. Well, I want to leave it as as long as I live here because it's pretty cool. Like I like, I like how it looks. Then I'm going to work on terminating your lease. Why? You said before that I could just leave it. 
that is until you told me how permanent this stuff was and what you're dealing with. So now I am not comfortable that it's going to be that way unless you can prove to me that you can easily get it back. I'm willing to come over there right now and take a peek at it. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't want you over. But I mean, like, what color do you want to paint the place? I want it exactly the way it was before anything was altered. What color was it? Like, what? what's that color called? Um, I'll have to go to Sherwin-Williams or to Hirschfields, and I can look that up for you. Okay. They did the outside of my front front door also. Uh, that's that needs to be cleaned instantly. I do not want that seen from our hallway. Well, it's just a Confederate flag. That, exactly. Exactly. So that needs to be taken off right away. Well, it's not like I have paint right now. Like, you mean just cover up the stars or something? I want you to cover the whole thing up. Did you see the roof? Especially with all the with with huh? Nothing. Did I see what? The roof. But never mind. I don't even want to get into that part. The building roof? Yeah, the roof. And how did they get on the building roof? Um, ladders, I assume. It's a really elaborate how prank. They- like it's really impressive. And how did they get up four stories on a ladder? Hell if I... I don't know. How does a roofer get up there? Why have you got this attitude? Well, no, you started it. You, you, you had the attitude with me. They did my windows, too. You know, they painted all the panes of glass as, as Confederate flags. But uh, I scraped those off because I wanted to be able to see out. So I, I, I actually. So I'm did, speaking. I, I am speaking to. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I did take care of some of it. Is what I'm saying. I scraped. So the I am window. speaking to Caleb. Correct. Yeah. Yep. It's me. Anyway, uh, you know, I'm gonna go watch TV. Let me get, I gotta your, go- paint. Let me get your paint color. So are you ready to write down? Oh your paint yeah. Colors yep. Stuff, Let's hear bro? it. So um, you know, when I move out, I'll paint everything. What is it? Um, I'm going, you're going to be getting a letter, I'm guessing, before you even move out to get this, I'm starting to get this resolved. If we got carpet, we got switch plates, and all this stuff, this was not approved ahead of time. It is not authorized. It is a violation of your lease at this point in time. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. I know, I know. I'm just, I, I like the... They just they went all out. I don't care I don't care if you like it or not. It is they, not approved and we are not going to allow it. That's they, that's They claim they took the drywall down and painted the 2 by 4s behind the drywall, but I don't think I believe that cuz I would have noticed. Okay. Um, paint called pacer white it is white then i told you it was white pacer white is the paint it is a off white yeah. and practical beige is the other color why has it got to be white with you it's going to match that's what the architect designed for the building that's what the owners want in the building that is the owner's um rules okay but just i'm just asking like why has it got to be white like instead of a confederate flag it seems just a little bit racist to want it white it was fine with you when you moved in now it's not well now that i've seen the confederate flag change out because my it's not okay my it own, is not okay it is not approved period if you saw this you would the probably trim, approve the, it because the trim color the trim color is a SW7006 extra white. Oh, they left the trim, trim alone. It is white. They, they, didn't, they didn't paint the trim. Okay. And it's a... Uh... Hey, Doug. Doug. What's, what's the color of the door? Snap. What is it called? Um, is it called racist white? Um, white. I don't think it's, it's just white? And it's a snap? 
snap dry white is what the door needs to be done with. Okay. All right. You'll probably be able to see the Confederate flags underneath the white, but I'll do my best. I'm no painter. Okay. Then you need to hire a professional. No, that's, that's a lot of money. Well, that's, then, then you better do a good job at it because that's what we're looking at, okay? Okay. And the carpet all came from, and the carpet all came from Cullen's Home Center. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll probably just so get some. So the needs, I'll get so some, the carpet needs to be replaced. But I can probably get carpet from the thrift store. The carpet needs to be the same carpet that's in there. I'm just going to drive up and down the alleys and find carpet that someone threw out. Goodbye, Caleb. Bye. He used to think Caleb was such a nice boy until the incident. I'm glad he recognized that I wasn't Caleb because I'm sure he's going to contact him and be like, do you have Confederate flags all over your apartment? So uh, on a recent hobo sode, I was doing apartment calls where I said that my frat brothers filled up my closet with cement. I think I did three of those calls on a hobo sode. And this one lady, she, she got so annoyed with me about the cement and about how I was trying to get rid of the cement because I was trying to spray it down with water. Here, I should play a clip of that. Here's a clip of a hobo sode. Sure. Sir, you live in an apartment complex. I'll put plastic. And that's going to create yeah, yeah, that's going to create a water leakage no. for anybody. Yeah, yeah, but it, it'll be it'll turn into cement though, so it won't be um, thin enough no, to like seep through. No, sir, where do you, put, which, which apartment do you live in? I'll put plastic down so it won't leak. No, we can't have you doing any I mean I know you didn't put the cement mm-hmm. there. So that's a very small clip of the most recent hobo sode. I like the idea of my old frat brothers house sitting while I'm out of town and doing wacky pranks around the apartment. So I'm gonna do more of that today. My annoying frat brothers are gonna play pranks on me. Management. Hi there, I'm a tenant here at Stone Apartments. Sure. Yeah. And I just have a question. Certainly. Okay. Um, I was out of town and I let, um, you know, someone apartment sit for me. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. And they rerouted my water lines so that all of my water is hot water now. Who are you, please? Um, My name is Nathan. And like even when I flush the toilet, like the the water is hot, like the, all the water in the whole apartment's hot now. Okay, well, number one, it's a violation to give your keys. We don't do apartment sitting. Mm-hmm. If you have an animal, it must be removed from the premises to another facility where it could be taken care of or another person, <laughs> a unit. Uh, a house or something, so it can't go into somebody else's unit because they don't have permission to yeah. have it. Yeah, well, my dogs don't and like other places, so I just leave my dogs here. Dogs? Yep. The Which Rottweilers. unit are you in? What unit are you in, and who are you joking with? Joking with? Are you really? Do you really have Rottweilers in your apartment building? Yeah, the Rottweilers are friendly. They're raised very nice, and they're... Now, they're Completely. I'm sorry, Nathan. Which unit are you in, please? 110. But no, that's not even the issue. I just wanted to find out, is there a way that maintenance could make my water not all hot water? I think you're in the wrong building. I don't think you're calling the right place, sir. Oh, well, I, I live at 40 f- Crossing Southeast. 110? Yeah. 110 is another person here. Yeah, I pay my rent to them. Uh, she's still living in the unit. I know, but I, we, I, you know, we're, that's my girlfriend. And you have had your dogs in her unit? She has a dog also, correct? Yeah, they get along great. Well, she can't do that either. That's a violation. Okay, look, you're getting off track here. Like, do you know how to make my water pipes not have just hot water? Why would they have done that to you? Because they're my that's old friend. <laughs> They're my old frat brothers, and they're just always playing pranks on me. 
Well, that's so, really good. Now we have to, but if we go in there with a plumber to have it rerouted and everything like that, I'm not sure what they did. They might have just shut it off. We, you. No, they, they re-welded the pipes. They, they made them all go into the hot section. Oh, no. Then we're going to have to bring in a master plumber. We don't. Oh, don't, we don't. don't exaggerate. Like, I'm sure maintenance can do it. It's just a welding torch. You know what, though? What? This is Friday at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we've already, we're booked with oh, appointments it's, for it's the... It's cool. I, I can handle it for the weekend. It's just weird when I'm sitting on the toilet and I flush, and it's just warm hot water. water. Or, yeah, hot well, water. It's you like, know, how could they do that? We don't use uh, copper. There's copper plumbing in the actual, wa- um, in some areas, but... They're, they use PTEX. They use a special kind of uh, plastic plumbing. So how could they weld that? Um, I guess we're going to have to come in and take a look at it, if that's all right, please. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's just, uh, yep, just every faucet's hot water now. Um, oh, I'm I, sorry. I, I have one of those um, you know, ice cube makers in the fridge, and all that water comes out hot now. Oh, okay. That's, well, that's weird. <laughs> All right, well, do we, we have to have a service request to be able to come into the unit, and you have to put that in writing. Okay. Uh, we can get a service request off the bulletin board in the lobby, and then turn that in to me as soon as you're able to. I'm at the office now. I have an appointment at 3 o'clock for something else. Okay. But let me just check and see where that appointment is. Is that on this property? Um, yes. I'll be at the Deer Ridge next door, and then I'll be over at this property after that. So that would we'd have to have a service request before we can go into a unit. Okay. Well, what are you coming in for? You're just going to look at the water? We want to look and see what they did to it so we know what we have to do to bring it back the other way. Hmm. I don't know. We could probably just live with it. Maybe we should just leave it. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yeah, but um, we'll get used to it. Well, you don't have any cold water, and we have to heat that water. We furnish your water sewer, and we have to heat that water. So, well, therefore, it's extra electric for us, or gas, rather, natural gas for us in the concept of heating the water. Yeah, well, what I've been doing uh, since is... Since you've reported it, I do I, have to come in the unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I've been doing is I just leave the bathtub running constantly, and that uses up all the hot water, and then I have lukewarm water instead that so, isn't going to work no it, it works I, i've been doing that all week like i just uh, i leave the bathtub running the hot water runs out and i've got not hot water all right well could you please just let me write down your phone number and stuff like that Nathan? all right write it down just look on that caller id box and write down what you see well you're i gotta get going huh what you're calling on a landline. Yeah, yeah, look at the caller ID on the landline. Well, I'll have to, it's not on. I can look and I can't push, see it. It push, must be an older phone. Push the button. Uh, that I don't know how to do, but uh, I will look You're, at you're like me with it. plumbing. Don't know how to work. Can I have your last name, please, Nathan? Yep, it's... Spell it, please. Nope. All right, I got to get going. Uh, my dogs are acting up. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. What the hell is this? It's like the atomic clock. I'm waiting for it to announce the time. I swear this is just an apartment building number. But I guess it's not going to do anything. It's just going to beep. Oh, and it automatically hung up on me, and I think that was exactly a minute. So it's kind of like an atomic clock. 
It hangs up on me exactly one minute later. Oh, actually, it's about 56 seconds. Okay, it's a shitty atomic clock. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Apartments, this is Angela. How can I help you? Hey, Angela. I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Okay, what's your apartment? Um, I'm in 303. All right, and what's your name? Andrew. How can I help you? Um, I just, um, I have kind of an issue with my plumbing. Okay. Um, I, I let my, um, I, I let some people house it for me and just as a prank, they rigged up my pipes so all of my water comes out as coffee now. I'm sorry? Like, like from any faucet, like the toilet, the shower, everything, everything's coffee. There's no water anymore. Okay. It's, Can it's, I come over here and take a look? Yeah, sure. And it's it's drinkable. Mm-hmm. It's just um, you know, there's no way to get regular water anymore. Did they put coffee inside all of the faucets? Well, they now they I think they set up a tank or something, and I I don't know how to unhook it. It's right by the hot water heater. But like mm-hmm. uh, pretty. You're much, in apartment three hundred three, huh? Yes. Okay. Give me a uh, one minute here, and my on-call maintenance guy and myself will be there momentarily. Okay. Well, do you know how to do you know how to unhook it? Like, it's been doing this we'll for have days. To come over there and take a look here. It's my old frat brothers. They, you know, I let them house sit, and they always do stuff like this. And you're in apartment three hundred three at Broadway. Yes. Yeah. I keep saying yeah. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay. For what? Hang on. What? Like on the phone or? Okay. I don't know what's happening. There? Yes, hello. Okay, you just said that they rigged it up next to the hot water heater? Yeah, I think so. I don't okay, I don't know well, how the this... hot water heater is in a locked room, so I'm not sure how they would get there. Oh, they have lock picks? Yeah, I don't think that that would work that way. It's a master key, so oh. it doesn't... Oh no! It's any it's anything's pickable. anything's pickable. I promise you that. We got these lock okay. picks at DefCon last year. They open okay, anything. Okay, and who, what's the name of the door. gentleman that stayed in your apartment? Terry. Last name. Well, why? No, it's it's just my old frat brothers. It was Terry and Kyle. What do you? And what they do you, stayed in your apartment. Well, they didn't stay there. They were just house. They were just you know apartment sitting. They were watching my dogs. And my fish. I have an 80-gallon fish tank. You do? Yep. So, yeah, I was just hoping you might know how to make the coffee thing stop. Maybe they rigged it up, on, in, you know, like somewhere in my house. Maybe it's maybe it's in a closet. I don't know. I don't know how plumbing works. Okay, I don't I just, have any pets on file here for you. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have them on file. Uh-huh. But, yep, uh, okay. So hey, you're in apartment 303 at Broadway, and I'm sorry, can I get your first and last name again? Sure, it's Andrew. Yep, okay, Jeff should be on his way here um, shortly. Who the fuck's Jeff? Our maintenance guy. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. Is he going to be able to fix this? Like, does he know how to do plumbing? Like, he's not afraid of, like, welding torches and stuff like that? He'll be there momentarily. Thank you. Wait, who was that? I, I just heard some guy sound like he was stoned. Something about 303. What? Is this a serious call? Yeah, I just, I, I heard... Okay, so I have to tell you right now that this is um, very confusing on yeah, this end of the line. Yeah, what's he saying about Jarita? That's my roommate. Well, that's who is in the apartment. That's what he said. That's yeah. the resident. That, this is my maintenance guy. He works on the property. Mm-hmm. So he knows who lives in the building. So I have to call him to have him come take a look. That's who you hear. Yeah. He's certainly not stoned. He's on the phone. Well, he sounds stoned. And he always looks stoned when he's walking by. He's always looking at me. He's always giving okay. me snake eyes. Okay. Well, we will be there uh, momentarily. Okay? Okay. Do you guys want some coffee when you get here? All right, thank you. It's cold coffee. Well, I know the hot water is hot coffee, but the cold water is cold coffee. You get a choice. Okay, 
I will be there momentarily. Would you put me on speaker to hang up on me? No, I put... What? <laughs> Damn it, I was going to ask her if Jeff could sell me some weed. I should call back and ask that, but no, let's just move on. Properties, this is Donna. How may I help you? Hey, Anna, I'm a tenant here. And I've, Pardon me? I'm a tenant, and I have a question. Okay. Um, do you Does the apartment pay for the water here? No. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh. yes, we do. Okay, all right. I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Um, I've got a water truck coming in here in a little bit, and they're going to get a bunch from me. Well, wait a minute. You got a water truck coming in? For yeah, one of, one of those really large tanker trucks. It's going to be parked yeah. in front of my apartment probably for uh, most of the afternoon and evening because we got to fill up the whole ba- back of the tanker truck. They need. Who need, is this? Oh, this is Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, it's just for my brother in law's swimming pool. Um, he had to drain it because okay. there was a leak in it. Wait and, a oh, geez, Wait a minute. I'm going to have to put you on hold. Why? Just a moment. Because I don't know if we can allow that. Oh, no, it's fine. You guys pay for the water. I checked. Well, that doesn't matter. Yeah, we do pay for the water. We can't be filling somebody's water truck. Well, it's for their swimming pool. It's my brother-in-law's swimming pool. I, it's a 25,000-gallon pool. Joseph. His what? brother-in-law wants to get water for Hel- Hello, this is Don at... Property management, who am I speaking to? Hey, Don, this is Joseph. She'd already told you that when she handed you the phone. Joseph who? King. Joe King? No, Joseph yeah. King. Very funny. I don't need your f- bullshit jokes. What are you talking about? Who? What do you need to do? Oh, I'm, I've got a water truck coming in today. They're going to fill up... Um, the water truck with water from my apartment, from my kitchen sink and bathtub. I'm putting it in five gallon buckets right now. What are you talking about? My brother in law's swimming pool had a crack in it. They had to drain it. No, you are not filling out a water truck from here. You can go to the city to get water. You don't fill it up from the. We get charged for the water here. No, I pay no, the bill. No, the water's free. No, it, Joe, you can come down here to the office it's and Joseph. talk to me. It's Joseph. So there really is a Joseph King that lives there. I wasn't trying to come up with a hilarious prank call name or anything. Properties, this is Donna. How may I help you? Hey, tell that um, really grouchy lady, Don, the, the woman with the man's name, that uh, the water truck's already scheduled to be here, so I can't really stop it at this point. Well, you're going to have to cancel it because nope. we won't fill it. If if the truck pulls up, we will call the police. What? No, you can't call the police. They're just a business. Yes, they're just we doing. Will. Their, they're doing their job. They can get water from the city of. No, that costs money. We made money here, and what am I doing? That wasn't a frat brother prank. Maybe I should call her back and say, "Hey, I'm just his frat brother." That was a prank call we were making to you. It's a frat brother prank call. Good afternoon. Hello, I'm a tenant here. Uh-huh. And I have a question. Okay, what kind of question is it? Uh, well, I, I was out of town and I let someone watch my house for me. Uh-huh. And they, um, they played kind of a prank on me. They, um, they turned the entire apartment upside down so like they put they took all the carpet up and put it on the ceiling and nailed all the furniture up to the ceiling huh and they put the light fixtures on the floor yeah and um like is there any way you can like fix all this i don't know uh they did the they did the kitchen cabinets and everything like everything's on the ceiling now Hello? Park manager Scott Day. Hello? Hi. Hi. You had, you had a question? Oh, is this a different person I'm talking to now? 
Yeah, yeah, this is a park manager. Oh. Scott Day. You were talking to my maintenance man earlier. Oh, yeah. He didn't tell me that. He just kind of put you on. Anyway, um, okay. Yeah, I had my old frat brothers watch my uh, trailer while I was out of town. Mm hmm. And they, they put the entire apartment upside down. Like, um, they put all the, you know, the carpet up on the ceiling and the furniture on the ceiling. They reversed the kitchen cabinets so they're on the ceiling. Really? And now, is this a unit here in the Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a 30 drive. Your name? Michael. Okay. Let me, uh, you got a last name? Yeah. Okay. So, do you know, you like, is there any way to, to make that, you know, to fix all this stuff? For us to fix it? Yeah, yeah. How how do I fix all this? Because like everything's on the ceiling, like the kitchen cabinets and everything. They put the the kitchen tiles on the ceiling. Then they paint. Yeah, and then they they painted the floors to look like the the real ceiling. And they put the light fixtures on the floors. Hmm. And they reversed. The yeah, that's awful weird. Um. Yeah, they reversed the doors and everything. What, what so is like, your address again, sir? Uh, thirty eight drive. And you must be mistaken. No, -uh. um, you're mistaken. We don't have anybody named Michael. Michael lives at 38. Oh yeah, that, it would. It probably under Jill or something. I don't yeah, know. Jill. Yeah. 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 So Jill house is that way now? Yeah. Well, it's my house too. I live here too. Oh, but, you do. Yeah. Are you her son or something or? Uh, yeah, yeah. How'd you know? Oh, I I didn't. Oh, I didn't realize she had anybody living there with her. Yeah, but we were out of town for, uh, you know, close to a week, and we had my old frat brothers watching the place for us, and they, they turned everything upside down. I have no idea they, how um, it could be fixed. Um, yeah, and everything still works. Like, I can still turn on the sink. And when I turn on lights, they light up, but they're on the floor now. The light switches <laughs> are upside down. What? The toilets, the toilets on the ceiling... The showers, you know, everything. It's all upside down. The bathtub's on the ceiling. I find that hard to believe. I know. I can't, I can't believe it either. They, no, it's my old frat brothers. They probably got a bunch I mean, of... This is, uh, this is Jill's house, huh? Yeah. Well, no, it's my house, too. Yeah. I, I pay but, rent. Well, the home is listed under Jill's... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And, and, and so your last name is what? It's the same as hers. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Hmm. I, I just didn't realize. Uh, that's a lot of work they've done upside down then. I don't understand how that could happen, but... Um, yeah. It's almost okay, like they just well, turned the entire trailer upside down, but maybe that's what they did. Maybe they turned the trailer upside down, but oh, then they... Oh, no, I don't think they did. The utilities wouldn't be working. Oh, no, everything works. Like, we can turn on the light switches, and the lights come on on the floor... Bat. And your your is is your mother there? Yeah, uh, she's taking a nap. I can still flush the toilet, but it just sprays from the ceiling now. Hmm. Um. No, I have no idea how you could fix that. Um. Huh. No idea at all. Huh. So. Um, Fuck. That. Obviously, it would not be the park's responsibility, but... Um, Seems like it would. I mean, get, oh, no, get maintenance no. over yeah, here. That's something you did inside and personally. Well, I didn't do it. It's my, my old frat brothers. Well, your old frat brothers are responsible for it. Yeah, well, no, they're not going to be responsible. They're, they're immature. They're, they're not going to take any responsibility. Okay, well, so unfortunately, so, it would probably be up to, to you to fix your own unit then. Well, you got to at least fix the sinks and stuff, like the plumbing. No, we, Plumbing's, we don't do that. No, we don't. We, Maintenance needs to come over and fix the damn plumbing. Plumbing's no. broken. Can't even use the toilet. It's broken. Huh? It wasn't broken before your frat brothers got in there. I know. They turned it all upside down. Like everything's yeah. on the ceiling. Yeah, and tell, responsibility. Tell maintenance to get over here and get that, that shit off the ceiling. No, it's not going to work that way. We're what? not responsible for inside. Well, the windows, We're responsible for the outside. The windows are upside down, too. Like, go, go, tell maintenance to come over here and fix the windows. Those are on the outside. Um, they weren't before you allowed somebody to stay there. Yeah, well, no, they this don't. This has to be a hoax. They were, I've never heard of this ever. They, they, they were, and it's, this is a hoax, and I, 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 we were very busy. 
Um, we don't have time to entertain that. Well, someone needs to come over here and fix this shit. Tell your maintenance guy to get the fuck over here. No, that's not the way that works. Yes, it is. Like, what, no, what, I'm sorry, what, it what do I, what do I pay my rent for? Um, Jill pays the rent there. Uh, no, no, I, I pay the rent. Well, I get her name with her check on it. Okay, well, I, I send her a check, and then she writes you a check. I don't believe that's the way it works. Yes, I'll, it I'll is. I'll say good day to you, sir, and uh, um, I'm sorry that happened. Okay, and, uh, well, yeah, you're not too sorry because you're not doing anything to fix it. No, and we mm. shouldn't have to. Well, yeah, so, yeah, you should. You should take responsibility okay, for your, for we'll your own park. You for your own park. Yeah. Well, that didn't work as well since that one was a trailer park. Apparently, they don't fix the insides of the trailers. That was an idea of Devin's. Thanks for that one, Devin. I need everybody listening right now to leave ideas in the comments of whatever you're listening on for other wacky pranks that my old frat brothers could pull on me. I've never had any frat brothers in real life, so I don't know how all this prank stuff works. And that's why I need ideas. Good afternoon, Parkins. This is Courtney. How may I help you? Hey, Courtney. I'm a tenant here. I'm just having a small issue. What's going on? Um, well, I was out of town, and I had my old frat brother's kind of apartment setting for me. Mm-hmm. And just as a joke, they they put a bunch of hamsters everywhere, like hundreds of hamsters inside the apartment. So is there any way you could send maintenance over to spray poison? Like they're currently still in the building? Yeah, they're everywhere. It's just infested with hamsters at this point. It's kind of gross. It was funny at first, but it's starting to kind of get on my nerves. I don't know. They're I put a bunch in the dumpster. So how long but have they been in the unit? How huh, what? How long have they been in the unit? Uh, I've been back for about a week now. And they're just getting into everything. It's kind of becoming an issue. I was just hoping you could send maintenance over to spray for them. What's your unit number? Uh, it's a, it's a B6. B6? Yep. Okay. All right. I will send them over to come take a look at what's going on. Are they going to bring poison? So you said you've been discarding them in the dumpsters? Yeah, the dumpster, the toilet. I flushed a bunch down the toilet, and now my toilet's, um, it like overflows when I flush it. Okay, that is definitely not the way to do that, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it'll, fl- okay. it'll flush um, fine will... the first few times, but, like, here, look, when I, when I flush it, yeah, it, start, it starts... You've created a blockage there, for oh, sure. Oh, there it goes. It's going onto the floor. It's, like, it's overflowing onto the floor. Yep, they're all over the floor. Ugh. Like, if I keep flushing it, will that make it go down? Will that kind of clear, no, clear no, the pipes? No, no, you've created an issue. We may be calling a plumber out. You you may be looking at a lot of damage charges Oh, no, here. if I just keep flushing, like, here, let me flush again. No, no, it will not. You'll need to stop doing that. Yep, no, it's still coming up. It's still going to go all over the floor again. Yes, I'm it's, telling you, you're uh, going to need to stop doing that right now. Okay. Okay, well, I will send I'm the maintenance just, guy over to come assess what's going on. Is he going to bring poison with him? Like, for the... Well, I'm not the, sure. Please stop flushing the toilet. I just... You're going s- to create a very giant flood up there. No, it, like, it, it, it just overflows for a minute, and then it goes back down. So if I keep flushing, I think eventually it's going to suck them all the way down the it's pipes. It's not going to. You're going to lodge that clog further down is what you're going to do. Yeah, but then it'll be less my problem. Like, if it gets further enough down, down it'll just go out into the street. Uh, you are, I think, incorrect about that. So Yeah, well, you're not a plumber. You're probably looking at having... And you're a woman. Okay, well, I will be sending me over to come take a look at Okay, is he going to bring poison? Oh, look at that. It's going on the floor again. Stupid frat brothers, it's all their fault. All right, so I help you? Hello, um, I, I'm a tenant here, and I have kind of a small issue. Okay, what's your issue? Uh, well, I, I was out of town. I let my old frat brother's uh, house sit for me, 
and they gave okay. out a bunch of copies of my key to homeless people and told them that it was free housing. Oh, my goodness. So they're all in That's here. That's not much of a friend. Well, they're my old frat brothers. They just, like We play pranks on each other all the time. Oh, that's but not a nice one. I know. It's not. It's probably not. I'd be furious. What? I would be furious with that person. Oh, I, well, you know, I've probably done worse than worse to them. But, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you know how to get rid of these homeless people? Do I know how to get rid of these homeless people? Yeah. Um, you just tell them to leave or you'll call the cops. Oh, and no, I don't want to be like that about it. I don't want to be a dick. Oh, um, yeah. you're just going to have to tell them, you know, the situation that it's not true. Well, can can and you do it? Leave. Can you come over? They've been over here for a few days now, though. Like one of them's claiming squatters. Ew. Squatters. What? I said, ew. <laughs> oh, don't be like that about homeless people. I mean, they're people, too. Well, right, right. But okay. since, you're more heart- um, since you're more heartless, can you come over here and get rid of them? <laughs> What unit is it? 214. 214. Wow. Um, I can give it a shot, but I can't promise you anything. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you. Are you coming right over? So did you, did you get the keys back from these people? Well, they, they made hundreds of copies. So there's a bunch of homeless people out there with my key now. Well, I got Leo coming over to fix a refrigerator. Do you want us to change your lock for $25? Um, can you just do it for free? Because I've got enough to deal with. I don't know. Because it's not it's not broken. It, it's nothing that happened to the lock. It's What if I what if I make something happen to, to it? Your... What if I just glue it? We, we, we'll just keep it between us. <laughs> no, dear. That's cool. So, I so are they there now? Yeah, yeah. Well, right now there's about seven of them. They kind of come and go. Like they'll just show up in the middle of the night and come in and sleep in the living room. Like they're all oh, wow. s- sleeping on the couch and the floors and the kitchen. They're using my bathroom and they're leaving a mess behind. And they keep asking me for spare change. Wow. Um, okay. Um, Could you just come over and ask him to leave real quick? <laughs> I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. I kept being unsure if she believed me or not. I'm still not sure. And I'm pretty sure the area I'm calling doesn't have a hundred homeless people in it. But because I love that idea so much, I'm going to go over to an area that is more likely to have hundreds of homeless people in the city. That's an idea from Devin again, by the way. And did I mention that the gerbil idea was Mr. Biggs or the hamsters, whatever they're called? Same thing. What apartments may I help you? Hello, I'm a tenant here. Um, I'm having sort of an issue. Okay. Um, I I was out of town recently, and I let my old frat brothers, uh, you know, watch my apartment to feed the animals and stuff. And uh, they gave my key to a bunch of homeless people. Wow. They made like over 100 copies of my keys and just gave them out to homeless people with my address on them. And the keychain says, you know, free, okay, free now, homeless who housing. Who are you? Oh, this is, this is Byron. Pardon? Byron. Apartment 9. Apartment 9? Yep. With Debbie? Yeah, yep, that's it. So we've got all these homeless people in here. They come in at all hours of the day and night. They keep using the bathroom and the shower and eating the food. Is there any way you could, um, I don't know, just maybe, can we put up a sign on the door that says no homeless allowed? 
we could change your locks? Well, the, um, yeah, I guess. Well, it would cost to change your locks, but that's the only thing. Because if you gave your keys to somebody, yeah, there's nothing really we could... We've got a sign, property, uh, no loitering. I've got all this here. Yeah. But if you gave your keys to somebody and they made keys... Well, no, I, I it was my old frat brothers. They were just house-sitting for me. Just feeding all the animals. So, yep. Now, now there's like all these homeless people in here, and some. You, of, how many animals do you got? Oh man, I've lost count at this point. I've got fish tanks and gerbil cages and kittens. So many kittens. They just keep multiplying. Well, well you're talking about the Alderwood apartments. Yeah, of course. Me and Debbie. And what's your name again? Byron. So, um, yeah, some of these homeless people, they're claiming squatters, right? I need you to come into the office. Okay, but listen, some of these homeless people are claiming squatters rights. And if you get, if you change well, the... Well, I need you to come into the office. Okay, stop interrupting, lady. And um, they're saying they're not going to leave. And if you change the locks, you're probably going to have to give them a key. Okay, uh, like I'm saying, I need you to come into the office. Okay. Because as far as I know, I don't have anybody with snakes and durables and all this. Uh, we don't have snakes. That's crazy talk. Pardon? Who said we had snakes? What'd you just say you had for animals? Oh, just everything. Kittens. Lots of kittens. Gerbil cages. Okay. Okay, yeah. Fine. In, in my complex, no, there shouldn't be. We have reptiles. But we don't have snakes. Well, that's why you need to come into the office, because, no, I have no pet policy for you with all these animals. Oh, we take care of them. Don't worry. We keep them cleaned up. It's no, more no, like... no, no, no. You need a paper filled out saying you've got all these animals okay, don't on yell my at property. Me. Don't yell at me. Um, but really, the, the animals aren't the problem right now. It's all the homeless people. There's like seven of them in uh, here. No, all of it's a problem with me. Oh, yeah, it sounds like everything's a problem with you. Yeah, just, I imagine so, huh? Just just drama. Drama city over there. Jesus. But no, there's like seven homeless people in here currently. And half of them are asleep. And they drink okay, a lot. Okay, not in the apartments. No, there's not. Yes, they're in, they're in apartment nine. They're in my apartment right now. Okay, I'm coming to apartment nine right now. You're there right now, correct? Don't yell at me. Are you going to come over and yell at me? You're in apartment nine right now. Yeah, but wh why are you going Okay, apartment nine is Richard, and you said your name's Byron? Well, Debbie. Pardon? Debbie. Debbie? Yeah. You said Debbie. Rich Richard's my dad. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Well, hey, can you? Can you? Oh, wanted to tell her to leave her attitude in the office. Didn't she say it was under Debbie before? Now it's under Richard. That lady doesn't know what she's talking about. I think that's gonna do it for now. I am done calling apartment buildings about my old frat brothers. Those crazy guys, always doing those pranks on me. You never know what to expect. But everybody should give me some more frat brother prank ideas in the comments. I'll write them down and hopefully do them in a future show. And if you haven't listened to it yet, be sure to listen to Hobo Sode number 192. It's called Frat Brothers from Hell. There's a few more crazy frat brother pranks in there. I think all of them involve cement. The landlords were not happy to hear about the cement. Hey, Bradley. Hey. Uh, this is Cody from Houston, Texas. Hello. Um, a few shows ago, I was listening, and you said this might be a terrible show as you were putting it together, and you know, mm -hmm. you were right. It was. It was terrible. Yeah, um, but I then, know. the next episode, um, you completely redeemed yourself by uh, telling people to hang the fuck up, and um, it was great. I laughed really hard about that. I missed those calls. It's probably my favorite thing. People just don't know how to act when told to hang up their phone or when they're cussed at. Uh, Cody, why don't you hang up the so phone? That's great. Uh, keep on doing what you do, hang man. Um, hang great up. stuff. Hang great up, stuff. Cody. Hey, look, he hung it up.
I appreciate your honesty, Cody. Some people said it was okay, and it was okay. But I don't want my shows to just be okay. They need to be awesome. It happens from time to time. Hey, hey Brad. It's Brandon from, from PA again. It's who? Um, you cut out. I just wanted to say, it's sounded like... According to Google Transcription, your name is 11 o'clock. So I'm going to call you 11 o'clock. Like, I, I, I wasn't offended either what you were saying. What you were saying. I, I loved it. Like, I... There are some people who might be offended by those, the blind jokes and stuff you're saying, but I'm not. Oh, blind I, I don't care. Somebody called me stupid when I was like 10, and I didn't like. And you're like, you know what? I'm stupid, and that's fine. That's okay. Didn't even really care. I'm sorry, that was mean. I'm just kidding. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm not offended by any jokes or any pranks that you did. Keep, keep doing them. That's good. One of your, one I'm of the, glad. One of your voicemail said, you should probably be careful what you say. No. No, keep doing them. And also, okay. I want you to do more, more of the hang up the phone shows, like the calls. I will. So, fuck you. And what? Have a good. Did you just say fuck week. you? Oh, I'm, I'm very offended by this. Very upset. I've actually gotten messages from a couple different blind people who've assured me that I'm not a big jerk. So that's good to hear. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. So to respond to a couple voicemails, someone... Uh, Looks like you're responding for a minute and a half. I hope your voicemail does not get cut off. I was asking where that call was, or uh, you were calling for Sandy, and uh, and you said that um, the guy was making funny faces at your kids. And, oh, yeah. Like... Whoa, I wasn't looking at anybody weird because I had a mask on. And then, you know, he said that, that he's making snake eyes through the mask. And then he goes, hee ha, hee ha, hoo. Brad, that's one of my favorite calls. And for years, I've been telling Brad to upload that clip. It's the first call on the episode live post Halloween show in November of 2015. Okay. Okay. Uh, live post Halloween show. Another caller said that uh, he had a certain liking to Gloria because he first started to listen to the Snowfall show in 2014, which I would agree. 2014 is when the Snowfall show actually started to become better, and it's just gotten better and better since. That's, that's when but, uh, Snowplow show was in its prime. Um, that guy should really take his words back because uh, Gloria in 2014 was well under the age of 18. So, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry about that. Okay, sir. bye, Crimson. I wish I could play these voicemails at 1.2 speed or something, like I listen to my podcast. Hey there, Alaska Jack, not in Alaska. Hey, Alaska Jack. But yeah, I'm just calling about the um, your ad here in the uh, um, Applebee's uh, restroom. And um, just quick question about it. it the details list, um, something about a stink finger, and I was wondering... Um, are you the, the proponent of the stink finger in, or am I the mm-hmm. proponent of the stink finger in? Because, you know, I mean, I, it could go either way, but, um, you know, I do have some stink finger in experience. And, okay. Uh, yeah, That's so if you could just call know. me back, um, yep. that All would right. be great. You know, like the ad, though. It looks like I accidentally gave the PLA voicemail instead of my personal cell phone again. Oops. Hate Hi. when I do that. It's Liz Darwin. Hey, Liz. I'm calling from Northern California. Hi, Liz. I enjoy your show. Thanks, Liz. I hope that was under 30 seconds. Yeah, that was like 11 seconds. Liz, that last person I called about my old frat brothers copying my key and giving it to the homeless, that was in your area, or your area code at least. Isn't that a fun fact? You may have lived there or something. I don't know. Popper Dan. Phone losers of America. Phone losers of America. Brad is going to call. Brad is going to call. Brad is going to call and prank you. All right. New theme song, apparently. Well, hello, Brad. I hello. hope all is well with you. You're keeping me laughing my ass off. My That's grandmother, great. 86 years old, laughing her ass off. I'm serious. You've got viewers, listeners, you name it. Anywho, I just thought I'd stop in and say hello again. Drugstore hello. Cowboy, Central Coast, California. Many listeners over here and beyond. All righty. Good Take to care. know. Be safe, and as always, you know what to do. No, you know what to do. What's funny about drugstore cowboys' calls is that they come from an actual pharmacy when he calls in. So I think he's calling from a work line 
while he's at work. Hi, Brad. It's uh, Minnesota Greg. Hey, Greg. I'm still not a supporter. I'm sorry I'm a broke kid. It's, but it's all right. You are hilarious. It's fine. I love your shows. They've been getting better and better all the time. Except for that one. The one that I said I didn't think was going to be a good show last week, I think. You are the man. It's okay. Done deal. You can say it. Bye. Love right. you. You honey. too. You too, Minnesota Greg. Sweetie pie. Hey, Brad. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey, Teen Wolf Jesus. I just had a funny fucking story to tell you about a prank request that you did last year. All right, tell me. There's no way you can remember this, but like last, maybe October, you did a prank request for uh, my buddy's crazy wife. It was a true green call because they get true green at their house, blah, blah, blah. You did uh, we fuck up your lawn call. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I saw her for the first time like last weekend. And so like, you know, I was out there like looking at their lawn and shit. And I was like, hey, you know, your lawn looks really great. You know, I said, you still used to true green? Dude, it was fucking hilarious. So like she starts telling me the story about how they had to go through hell and they ended up canceling true green because they got this call oh, shit. from somebody from true green. That was talking about how he boiled their lawn. And he started telling me that we thought our dog was going to die. Like her husband came oh, rushing Jesus. home from work. Uh, the mayor lives directly across the street from them. And so they called the mayor. Oh, they had geez. the mayor do a lookout. The mayor said something all over their little town about True Green. Oh, man. And then <laughs> True Green Jesus is fucking calling. Christ. She shouldn't call to cancel True Green. And like True Green cancels. So then the owner of the tree green franchise calls her up and tells her i need you to tell me why you're canceling and she was like because you guys threatened to boil my lawn and he started making like sexist cracks at her um it was awesome next time i go see him i'm going to record the conversation i wish i could have but just wanted to tell you that that's, there's a hobo code <laughs> from last october where you made this call and it was fucking awesome so thanks for doing that as always thanks for the laugh love the show and can't wait till the next live one. Take care. Thanks, Teen Wolf Jesus. I wish you would tell me which hobo so this was from, because I kind of want to hear that call now. That's pretty insane that all of that happened. Hello, Brad. This is President Donald J. Trump calling. Oh, Frankly, great. I saw your post on Instagram comparing your hair to mine, and I could not tell you how honored I am. I, I've decided to grant you a pardon for the for the FBI. That was wow, a, frankly a, to, a total witch hunt. What believe me. Nice president and we me have. And, and Melania are, are big fans of of your show, and we just like to like to say thank you for, for comparing your hair to mine. Very very much appreciated, Mr. President. And thank any, you. Any time, did he just call himself Mr. Pre what? It's a very confusing call. You know, Mr. President. I was also calling you President Trump in prank calls before you were president because I just thought it sounded ridiculous because I knew that was never going to happen. But what do you know? Hey, Roy, I should listen to your podcast episode, What Are You Blind? I'm an actual blind guy, and I give you permission to say and do whatever to Yay, the blind. another endorsement. And to answer a couple questions, how we check if our kids are asleep or something, that's actually a big issue. A lot of blind kick the bed, right? Parents are getting their do. kids taken away because the state and other people don't think they can take care of them just what? because they're blind. What? Um, and That's about what crazy. we see, if we fall asleep, just walking around, no, a lot of most blind people can see a little bit, and the and the ones that are totally blind are the totally blind areas in your eye. It's like grayish. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like trying oh, to see weird. out of your. Yeah. I actually did not know that at all. And I was just kidding about blind people falling asleep, but I didn't know that most blind people had just a tiny bit of vision still. I thought it was just complete blackness for them. I thought the eyes just did not do anything at all. I mean, I'm sure it's like that for some people, but that's interesting that they have just a tiny bit of light Elbow coming through. Or something. It's like nothingness. But yeah. I thought I'd give you permission to say whatever to the blind. Oh, thanks. It's like having a, a black friend and making black jokes. Oh, no, I'm not racist because... <laughs> I know a black guy or something like that. Yeah, you know, that's exactly what I was thinking just now. Because Tim, over at the Distorted View podcast, he always gets endorsements from black people to say the N-word and stuff. So he gets an endorsement from every minority possible and from women so he can make fun of women and fat people, midgets, everyone to be really terrible about those people. Wow, I just said those Mission people. Man. You know what bye I'm bye. saying. All right, thanks for the permission. 
Brad. It's Raid and Dijon. So hey. I just caught up in all the, the snowplow show. It's up to 572 now. I've been busy the past four weeks listening to a bunch of different speaker systems, making prank phone calls from different pay phones. Yeah. Are you but, calling on a pay phone? Like, what is with your connection? But, um, here's an interesting story about a telephone. So back when I was 16, I didn't know that Cardi spoofing was a thing. So I like went to bed one night, and then the phone rang. And I picked it up, and this guy was on the phone. He's all pissed off. He's like, "Yeah, they're fucking calling here." Oh fuck it off! And I was like, "Whoa!" And it's like, I was like a dumb naive kid. I just assumed my sister was like harassing this guy, even though she never like made prank phone calls or did that. So I go wake up my sister. I'm like, "Oh, there's a guy and he's like harassing this guy." She's like, "Oh no, what the fuck?" And then I went back to the phone. I was like, I don't know, man, no one's here is like calling you or nothing. He's like, I'm not fucking fine, no one fucking kicked your fucking ass, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I think he hung up, I hung up, I don't know. I was like, I just, like, couldn't sleep that, so I was like, ah, what the fuck? And then I went to my friend Benjamin's house, and then I smoked him. Okay, bye. All right, bye. That was a great story. Hopefully you learned what spoofing was soon after. It's kind of good that everybody knows what spoofing is today because they don't stay mad at people forever when I spoof their numbers. They're just like, oh, they were just spoofing. By the way, Mr. Digital, I got some mail from you this week, and it looks like you sent me a couple of Longmont Potion Castle CDs. Oh wait, no, you sent me a Longmont Potion Castle CD called Where in the Hell is Lavender House? Oh wait, is this? Oh no, it's the soundtrack to, I guess, the movie that's coming out. That's kind of cool. I will listen to this in my car. And then you sent me something called TWRP, Together Through Time. No idea what this is. It's possibly synthesizer music and or disco music. I will listen to both of these. Thanks for mailing them in. I've actually got a trip that I have to take tomorrow. It's like an hour in the car, an hour back. And I will be listening to these CDs tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, Brad. Hey. I hope you have caller ID because I am at a payphone at Canopy Lake Park in Salem, New Hampshire. All right. Love you, Brad. Bye. Whoa, that's crazy. A payphone. Of course I have caller ID. Why wouldn't I have caller ID? It's 2019. I know how to use my caller ID. Let's call back and listen to the computer tone that it's going to give me. Wow, it actually just rings forever. But you're only going to hear a ring or two because I'm going to edit all that ringing out. And if any of you would like to call that payphone, let's hope it's actually a payphone. The phone number is 603 Two seven five seven six six three. It appears to ring forever. I let it ring probably 15 times. So maybe you can call it up and see if you get anyone to answer. That's it for today's show. Hope you enjoyed the crazy frat pranks. Remember to leave your crazy frat prank ideas in the comments. And maybe I'll try those out someday. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Travis B., Audi, Love, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Miguel F., and B.I. Eber for Life. It's people like that that make this show possible. If you want to support the show, a good way to do that is to go to patreon.com slash phone losers. And there's a bunch of other ways to support the show at phonelosers.com slash support. I just updated that page, so it's got the new Project 2 on it and the crappy phone losers version of Patreon and a bunch of other things. So support the show and thank you very much for supporting the show. You're awesome. I moved into my new apartment at the end of February, surprised to find out that the water was free. The lady in the office says it's included in the rent. Use it as much as you want. I had their total consent. Now I'm saving extra money on the monthly expenses, filling up my bottles of water as fast as my sink dispenses. I flush the toilet seven times every time that I pee. I may as well. It helps my local water municipality. Free water every single day at OPU Apartments in Green Bay and I read my contract all the way through and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at OPU Apartments in Green Bay and my rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. I bought a fountain for my living room and man it is beautiful. It's nearly eight feet tall and has a full working waterfall. I ran the water lines through the walls under my bathroom sink. It runs 24 hours a day and hardly ever even leaks. I have a black market shower head for better pressure while showering, which I leave running all the time, making the bathtub self-cleaning. I've got free air conditioning using the ice from my fridge with copper tubes on a fan wrapped around the front of it. But running the fan all the time used up too much energy, so I 
I'm using a water power turbine just to keep the fan spinning. And cooling the ice from the freezer made my power bill higher, so I've made another turbine using parts from my dryer. With a water reservoir hidden out on my balcony, I'm piping water through a generator for free electricity. I flush trash down my toilet to save money on garbage bags, which is really convenient because it's such a long walk to the dumpster, man. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay. I've written my contract all the way through and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and my rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and I know the landlord would have a fit if he knew I ran my washer for the hell of it. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay yeah. I wish I wasn't on the second floor because water's leaking from my reservoir. Excuse me? You installed what on your wall? Are you insane? Why would you do that? You've done something that I've never even heard of in my entire life. I've got a dam in my kitchen that can power my oven and runs my KitchenAid mixer at the push of a button. There are tracks carrying water that just go on forever. Running all over the walls, it looks like something by MC Escher. I'm selling bottled ice water at major sporting events, making more than enough money than I need for my rent. Quenching the thirst of the fans, helping them deal with the heat. I'm giving the Aquafina man a fucking run for his money. My brother-in-law is paying me $50 to fill his pool with 25,000 gallons of water. But when I'm not building a model, rainforest in my bathtub. I'm mailing bottles of clean water all the way to Africa and doing scientific experiments with foil and gallium, mixing them carefully with water so I can make hydrogen. I hope my city doesn't mind losing their water monopoly because I've applied for a permit to start my own water company. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and I read my contract all the way through and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and my rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and the clothes I'm wearing now are really clean because they're in the washer almost constantly. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and it's been fun trying brand new things like full-scale model ice sculpting. I've never heard of anything so ludicrous.